Pat Robertson releases his predictions for 2012. In a recent television episode on his CBN news station, Pat Robertson announced the results of an entire week spent praying, asking God to tell him what he had in store for America in the near future. Here are the exact words he heard from the Lord. Your country will be torn apart by internal stress. A house divided cannot stand. Your president holds a radical view of the direction of your country, which is at odds with the majority. Expect chaos and paralysis. This is a spiritual battle which can only be won by overwhelming prayer. The future of the world is at stake because if America falls, there will no longer be a champion for freedom and a champion of the oppressed of the world." End quote. He hopes that Americans will do as ordered by God himself through his servant, Pat Robertson, and pray hard enough so that the Almighty will prevent their country's fall. The entire world saw what kinds of results people get when they do a half-hearted job like they did in Texas last August. God just doesn't listen unless there's an overwhelming prayer, as Pat Robertson said. An interesting change in the evolution of Turkey's porn filter. Last year, Turkey implemented a troubling change to their secure internet filtering system that parents can activate to protect their children from pornography. As of November 22nd, any site that includes the words Evolution and Darwin are filtered out by the Council of Information Technology and Communications child-friendly filter. Even Richard Dawkins' website, richarddawkins.net, has been banned. Many find this a surprising move coming from a country that is considered the most secular majority Muslim nation in the world. But it is also known as a kind of center for Islamic creationism, and as the home country of the infamous Adnan Akhtar, better known as Arun Yahya, author of numerous creationist books. It should be noted that his website has not been included in the filter of pornographic material. What Darwin Never Knew The popular television show called Nova broadcast a very interesting two-hour episode called What Darwin Never Knew last December 21st. It presented answers to facts Darwin just couldn't explain, but are understood today thanks to scientific discoveries of the last 150 years. The viewer finds out that while Darwin was right on many points, his theory was incomplete. However, people who have missed this special episode do not have to feel disappointed. It has been put online on the show's webpage. A direct link is available in the description box below. There's also a little game called Guess the Embryo, which is not easy at all. At first, you're presented with a human embryo at 28 days. From then on, you're on your own, and you have to guess among four different species of animals. Again, we provide you with a link to the PBS feature in the description box. A disgruntled former Scientology executive voices her opinion to 12,000 members. Deborah Cook used to be an executive of the Church of Scientology, but since her departure from the church, she's decided to express her opinion of the direction it has taken under the leadership of David Miscavige. She is so angry that she decided to send an email to about 12,000 Scientologists. According to a report in the Tampa Bay Times, she claims that the church is hoarding well in excess of a billion dollars in violation of policies written by church founder L. Ron Hubbard. As expected, Church of Scientology representatives were quick to dismiss Deborah Cook's email, and went as far as to declare her a heretic. According to the Village Voice, the publication that first covered the news, Cook claims that Miscavige's domination of the church violates the check and balances placed by L. Ron Hubbard. 